So on this drive, uh, we're going to be testing out the latest dev branch of Sunny Pilot. The branch, I believe, is called Dev-C3, and it's built on uh, Stock Open Pilot's 0.9.4. Now, the significance of this particular branch or build is that it now incorporates navigate on op on auto or open pilot I almost said autopilot and uh, basically what that means is that uh, if you have the GPS service working on your unit uh, and you use the experimental mode of open pilot it will actually be influenced by the data being sent to it from the the GPS service so um, you know if if you're going to be making a right, it'll actually uh, stay to the right lane. Uh, in some cases, it might even turn for you. But uh, it is all experimental, and so it, it doesn't work all the time. I mean, having said that, like right now, I have the maximum speed for the car set to 75 miles an hour, but yet we're still only going 53 miles an hour, and there's no one in front of us. But that's just the nature of these experimental features. They, they don't always work all the time, but they're fun to play around with. I do apologize if the camera is uh, shaky. Um, I do have it mounted to my hat right now, and so uh, whenever I do a shoulder check or a mirror check, you will see me kind of moving my head. I'll try to be conscious about not moving my head too fast. I know that, that could be a bit jarring. But, for instance, right now, I am looking into my mirror. Um, yeah, so just a caveat there. So, right now, I, I do have uh, the GPS service running. Um, I'll, I, I hope I'm recording the screen properly because I, I will be putting the overlay of the screen um, somewhere in this video. Uh, but, you'll see that the, the navigation or the GPS portion has a a green line to show the the waypoints and the actual path and that just basically suggests that it is using the uh, experimental mode to navigate the car as well <clears throat> you know it's interesting I just rode this particular span of road a few hours ago when the Sun was out but it was actually holding speed where it was supposed to and now it's driving a lot slower so you can really just see how much the lighting conditions can uh, affect how the model decides um, how fast the car should be going. And luckily I'm in the slow lane so I'm hoping the people behind me aren't so mad. There is a person behind me right now and um, I mean they have the opportunity to pass if they want to. I guess it is still a little selfish I'm testing these on the road, but ah, what can we do? And in terms of using Sunny Pilot, uh, I'll have the, the instructions on how to install it in the description. And, and I think I mentioned before that you need to have the GPS service running for you to be able to use Navigate on Open Pilot. Uh, now there's two ways to do that. Uh, the first way is you can pay Kama about $20 a month for their data plan and access to Kama Prime. Or if you're like me and you don't have that ability to pay that at the moment, um, you can use Mapbox. Um, there are instructions that I'll post in the description uh, from Sunny and it'll tell you how to set up your Mapbox token and that will essentially allow you to use the same services uh, similar to Comma Prime, mainly being able to have uh, GPS on your actual device. Because without that, you won't be able to use the Navigate on OpenPilot because it does require um, an online connection to be able to download the, the map data. Uh, having said that, there are murmurs and discussions about being able to use offline data because that's already possible for for the map D uh, but I'm not sure 
what that means in terms of uh, actual navigation. Now, the way I have the unit talking with the internet is I my cell phone has the hotspot. I have unlimited data, and right now, the, yeah. So the the device is just pulling data online from my phone. And you also set your destinations and whatnot and addresses uh, using the phone as well too. You could do it from your home, but uh, I actually don't have my device on Wi-Fi. And so most times I'm just uh, communicating with it using my phone's hotspot. So the neat thing about navigating on OpenPilot is that uh, in the past I had some issues with uh, exit diving for instance so um, technically it's not supposed to take this exit okay kind of got really close to it but it didn't so it's good and so that's kind of what you should be expecting if you have navigate on OpenPilot like we're not we have this fork coming up but we stayed on the left side because uh, technically the how it steers should be influenced by the data that's being derived from the GPS unit. And so, like, we weren't supposed to go right, we were supposed to keep going straight, and that's why I was able to stay in the lane. Um, but having said that, maybe even if I was in chill mode and not using experimental or the navigate on open pilot, it, it may have done the exact same thing, but uh, as of right now, we can say that it was working as intended, per se. Now driving 53 miles an hour in a 65 zone, I don't know. I mean, I, I suppose I could accelerate, but we're just like really testing to see how this entire system works as a whole. And, but if need be, uh, the awesome thing about using Open or Sunny Pilot is that uh, he has a feature called MADS where I'm able to actually not only press the gas pedal and still retain steering from the system uh, but if I press the brake pedal the car still continues to steer by itself uh, unlike in stock open pilot um, just recently they allowed you to press your gas pedal without deactivating the system but as of right now if you do press the gas or sorry if you do press the brake pedal uh, you will deactivate the entire system meaning uh, you will have to take control over the steering so my exit is coming up and I do have to veer right in order to take the exit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my signal on and hopefully it takes this exit without me touching the steering wheel. And it did it. So I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's off, off the camera's point of view, but uh, the only thing I did was turn my signal on. I, I didn't do a nudge like you would normally do for a lane change. Uh, essentially the, the car turned on its own um, because I basically turned my signal on and the GPS data said that it was making that right. And so we are approaching this stop light and, and we are stopping appropriately. Great. Now this is quite an odd intersection so I don't expect it to complete it. I mean, even people who are like visiting this area have a hard time navigating this section because it, it is kind of wonky in that there's so many paths in front of us. But let's see what Open Pilot does uh, when the light turns green. Now normally I would allow the system to go on its own, See, but it just accelerates so slow. So I'm, gonna, I'm giving it gas right now, but it is steering on its own. And it made it, so that's good. I'm going to change lanes though because I do have to move over. Did that right now, great. And I do have a right hand turn coming up and we're gonna see what it does with that. So we do have some cars behind us, um, but I'll, I'll be at the ready to see what the system does fork on the road but it stays to the left but I think that might just be normal so now there's a fork on the road but I'm going to turn my signal on and let's see what it does here so I do have a stop I have a red light right now um, oh now I have a green let's see what will it do oh so I had to nudge it away a little bit it looked like it was gonna run into the sidewalk um, but I, I think that's 
I don't know. Maybe maybe y'all can go in the comments to see, like, based on what you saw there, was that a success or not? Um, I'll give it, like, an 80. So, success with a question mark. Because I did have to uh, kind of give it a slight nudge away from the sidewalk when it turned in. But, I mean, I'm not sure how much the camera will capture that scenario, but that was essentially a 90 degree right hand turn and so uh, it wasn't an issue of it turning too late it actually turned in a little too fast uh, so yeah I think that I would give it a passing grade I guess definitely would be an honor roll student but it did well enough and again it stopped on its own here and it's just waiting uh, Maybe I'll make this person mad behind me to see how fast it accelerates away from this green light. And it is crawling, crawling, and normal. I, at least we beat the guy to our left, so that's saying something, I think. And then now we have another red light we're approaching here. I'm not doing anything, no steering, no braking, and... Okay, slow down quite a bit, but away it goes. It's interesting watching what the car does over these little hills because it essentially can't see anything in front of it and so it is just acting, I guess it's, it's like on its toes, just like waiting for the next feature to be seen by the camera. Let's see, will it see this? No, it won't. Okay, so that was a yellow light and I did have to take over and and stop it myself. The, the car to my left, who was also behind me, actually just ended up running it. Maybe it's just a an odd... An odd intersection considering it is downhill as well too and again it is the experimental mode um, I think even the text says like you should be expecting problems uh, and so can't complain when I've already been told there's going to be a lot to be complaining about all right so right now I am I'm the one activating the gas but I'm gonna resume the longitudinal control so it's speeding up this red light please stop okay it is making me feel real comfortable so I I was the one who had a break for that it was accelerating into that light and I didn't feel comfortable with it but so I, I guess that's what makes using Sunny Pilot so great because without Mads it would have meant not only would I have to take over the gas and brake I would have also had to take over the steering, but MADS allows the steering to always be activated and that allowed me to kind of just chill. Like right now I'm, I'm, I'm the one braking, I'm letting the car coast, I'll give it some brake right now, but I'm not doing any of the steering so it is kind of still pretty chill. And I can activate it while my foot's on the gas, uh, on the brake. So right now I activated it and I'm going to press resume. So it's resuming on its own. So now I'm not controlling anything. The car is doing everything on, on its own. And let's see how it does. So I just did a shoulder check because I do want to be in this right lane because my destination is coming up. All right, let's see. So this is going to be a forced right, but I I, do I want to be there? I don't even remember. But let's just chill here for now. All right, so the speed limit for this area is around, uh, I think, yeah, 40 miles an hour, and we're going at 38, so that's acceptable. All right, so now our destination is coming up. And let me turn my signal on to let the person behind me know that he should be expecting me to turn. One second here. Is it after the light or before the light? I can't remember anymore. Oh, it seems to be after the light. Okay. But I will turn my signal on now. I'm curious, will it actually go into that driveway?